Hello everyone, we are going to talk about Stable Diffusion's Web UI, or we call that Automatic 1111, and we can using Stable Cascade in our Automatic 1111. Now, as you can see this GitHub page have Stable Diffusion's Web UI plugged in, or we call that the extensions for Stable Diffusion's Web UI. So use this link to install that. And right here in the extensions, so far, I see we cannot search in the extension using the word Stable Cascade or any related word in here. As you can see, there's no result. So the only way we can install this is copy this link and go to install from URL, paste this and click install. And that is the most efficiency way to install this extension that we can run Stable Diffusions, Web UI, and it can run Stable Cascade in our system. So after a while, after we install that, we can see this is the installing Diffuse users, Watchy version 3. Now, this is the sausage model that we mentioned previously in previous videos. And this is the version 3, which is basically Stable Cascade. And after we install this, we click Restart Web UI. We wait for the boot up of our new install of Stable Diffusion's Web UI. And basically, that is done for our installations. And as you can see the top tab menu, you will see this Stable Cascade button. And you can click on here, you will see the Stable Cascade text to image page right here. And we can start playing around with it. Now, first of all, we have to go back and see the models overview. Now, as you can see the models overview, we have three models, right? So stage C and stage B and stage A. So here's three models that we'll be downloading in the first time you click, generate and run. So let's try one prompt in here as simple prompts. And as you can see, there's a lot of gigabyte downloading and processing. So remember to spare up some storage space before you play around with Stable Cascade. Now, as I research and do some studies of these models, now this is the first image that we generate and there's something that we can test with different settings with Stable Cascade. And I will do that in this video later on. Now let's try with putting negative prom and set the steps prior and steps decoder higher. And let's see what we got here. Now, as you can see the command prompts here, we got two sampling steps and two loading pipa line components for each image. So in here, we got like illustration styles image and then the other one I regenerate again. And then it got some like art painting styles. And also this one I set to batch size and it keep coming in different styles when I switch over different steps and switch over to different CFG values and go back to step 20 and decoder steps to 15. And let's try the text in image because this is what they said. This is strong at in stable cascade. Now always see there's two sampling steps loading. And here you go. We have the text in image and well, it's pretty follow through our text prompt like garden view landscape. And then we got the text, I love you. And there's a heart sign on the ground and missing the middle word love in here. But it's kind of getting some creativities using the heart sign to represent that in the image. And then we can try it one more time and see what we have in different generations of AI image here. Now we have another image, very similar, but then some letter is missing and then the spelling is not quite in the positions, but that's okay. We know this AI models can do text in an image, like actually write a text into an image. Then let's try something more complex, like more wording text in image that require this AI to generate. Now let's do some Bruce Lee styles AI image and let's see what we got. Now here I got the text in image showing the way of dragon. Some letter is extra like the T, the capital T, and then this is uh, another example, the way of dragon. But then the character doesn't look like Bruce Lee. So I regenerate few times again and again here. 
And this is more realistic styles because I put the prompts into ultra realistic and photo realistic. All those text prompts try to enhance it to realistic styles. And this is another one, but this is too, obviously this one looks like Bruce Lee. So uh, I regenerate again and I come of this one. This is actually pretty close to Bruce Lee, except the face is a little bit off, but it actually followed through my text prompt, what I did. So let's see. Actually, I have add one more 2TB SSD hard disk that is dedicated for AI models and play around with AI experiments right now. And as you can see, this Stable Diffusion's web UI is a newly installed copy of Stable Diffusion's web UI. And right now, I'm just only having the Stable Cascade installed in these files. So let's try another one. It's a close-up shot of flowers. Now let's compare with SDXL models in here. I got a Dream Shaper XL and using the same prompts and see. What is the difference between SDXL and Stable Cascade? Now I'm using 30 steps for SDXL in here and it comes out pretty nice like a close-up shot of multiple flowers but then Stable Cascade in here is a really close-up shot of one flowers with the same prompts and then the light from the top to the bottom like from the top to the bottom of the soil we see Stable Cascade got more light details. But then SDXL is more raw footage. It doesn't enhance too much details of the light and also the flower pattern. Well, I cannot say too detailed. Let's generate one more time using to image and we can see how can it be consistency. Now, as you can see the flowers here and this is another flowers. Now, both of them have very similar character styles. And the light actually shoot through the leaf of the flowers which we compare with SDXL. It doesn't do that. Uh, let's make two image in SDXL and see it again. Now in SDXL, I am seeing is different understanding of the text prom. And obviously that is what it is supposed to do because we got a newer model, right? But then the stable cascade, they got more, I cannot say detail. It is like a pattern of the leaves and the flowers pattern that is showing in the image. And actually the light is going through from the top to the bottom and to the soil. And you can see that through this one image. And the flower is really the focusing of one flower's image. And I think this is what stable cascade is strong at focusing in one object in one image. And then you see SDXL. It doesn't have the light go through the leaves and flowers, that kind of light detail. But then there's still a little pattern on the flowers. But it is not that clear. Not clear as stable cascade, where you see stable cascade. Here we see even the light go through the flowers. You can see the pattern of some little cells going around. And you see the pattern of the leaves are having some light spot on the top. And then let's try another image. Here I got female lions and a woman with backgrounds of some flowers. And let's see this kind of photography styles of image. What do we got in Stable Cascade? So we got one lion only with flowers background. And Stable Cascade doesn't recognize male or female lions. It's just showing as lions. But then what I did in the text prompt is I got so many descriptive words that I want in the objects and like deep dark in styles and then background with flowers and let's try in SDXL but then in SDXL. Okay, there is some funny thing going on in SDXL but one image is good and one image is kind of awkward. Yeah, actually this is kind of funny one like combining the bodies of lion and a female. And this is kind of correct. The first image is kind of correct. What I expected, like a female lion and then a woman together. And then there's some flowers on the background, which Stable Cascade cannot handle, like two objects in one image. I would say through the flower experiments and this line experiments, it doesn't handle generate multiple objects in one image. Well, it is good to handle one object in detail, 
but it cannot handle multiple objects in an image which is just only focusing a line in here. So let's try John Wick image as we did in the last stable cascade videos that we do in Hugging Vay's demo page. And let's try again with John Wick cyberpunk neo light style image. So here we got John Wick holding a pistol and then in a nightclub. And let's try something other than a pistol. Let's say John Wick holding a banner and putting some text in the banner. Buy me a drink and see what we got. So actually, so far I see Staple Cascade is really good in handling one object. Okay, so this is pretty funny. John Wick holding a banner, buy me a drink, and it actually showed that text in that banner. And it looks pretty funny. Yeah, so, so far I can see Stable Cascades. Handling one object this image is pretty good. And it can go through all the details, what you have in the text prompts, and then project that into that objects. And let's say if I put John Wick and a beautiful woman, so there's two objects, then Stable Cascade cannot handle like two objects generate in one image. And that is so far what I see. And let's try another experiment using different width and height. And I'm not sure if that is the problem of this extension. Through my recording of these videos, I tested in this Stable Diffusion's web UI with this extension that Stable Cascade cannot handle other dimensions, width and height image. When I set other than 1024 by 1024, it will be throwing this error message here. It said like the downscale factor showing this downscale factor error message. But then, okay, this is the previous image. Let's try another size like 1200 and let's see. And then again, here we have the same error message downscale factor that is showing that. And also this error message set that is not divisible by two. So basically I think stable cascade needs to handle like image ratio with one by one image that can be generated if you try to generate other dimensions, other width and height that is not in one to one ratio that will be not generated. So here again, another buy me a drink female holding this, a beer. And yeah, this is 1024 by 10 to 24 dimensions and it can generate without problems. So that is something we have to concern when we use saying stable cascade for generate image that is only able to handle one by one ratio with this extension. I'm not sure if Comfy UI are able to handle this because I saw other people can generate using other dimensions, width and height in Comfy UI. But then when I keep generating using automatic 1101 and this extension, it cannot generate other dimensions except only 1024 by 1024 width and height. Let's try it again and you will see this error message pop up in the command prompt. In the last decoder steps, yes, in the last decoder steps, it cannot generate it and it just throw this error message. So you have to be conscious when you're using this extension or overall stable cascade. When I use the ratio one by one and it generates no problems. So this image are only able to handle one person, one objects. I mean, this AI models are good to handle just only one person and one objects. And it doesn't able to do like multiple person in detail showing an image. That's what so far I test. And let's try to do some other experiments. And here let's do like multiple people in a nightclub and banner on the top say buy me a drink okay and then you can see the generate detail is kind of different and actually in here there's no focus objects and all people is kind of blurry and like a cloud of people with no one is actually focusing in the image and even i generate few times again using different sampling steps it is also the same 
Right now, I'm using 40 steps, and let's see what they got. Now, when I turn up the sampling step, it will be more, obviously the color is more solid, but it is not detail. I would say it's the color that has become solid. And then it, let's try with different settings in here. If you turn it down the sampling step to, let's say, 5, then it will be different styles here. And this kind of low step processing image style is kind of reflecting to the, it's like an outline of the image creation, but then it doesn't fill up what is in the element. And actually, as you can see, it's kind of like a line drawing of everything. But then the content in this outline, it doesn't fill up any like a hair or a face of a person or any clothings. It doesn't do that. And let's try again with lower steps for decoder. It's also happening the same now when I going back to 20 sampling steps and then decoder steps to 10. It can process something better. But if you use a Hive CFG again, this is similar to stable diffusions that using high CFG and the image will way off than your text prom. It doesn't do exactly like what you do in your text prom. It's just giving more creativities for the AI to generate whatever it wants. And if you set it back to starting lower, and then you will see it start following your text prompt rather than all creativities by the AI. And then let's boot up to, let's say, CFG 16. And then you will see things are totally off and is not exactly what it is in my text prompt. But then there's still the text in here, the buy me a drink. That text is still remaining. But if I turn it back to like a 4 or 5 CFG and you will see the details coming back again. So I think the sweet spot of using this model generate kind of a normal image. You will using CFG 3.5 to 4. Sometimes you can use CFG 5. Something like that can be like a sweet spot for this. And then the steps and decoder steps. I will try to keep it in steps 20 and then decoder steps in 10 or even 15 decoder steps. That will be something in the good place for generate image that you controllable of. And then I have also seen the decoder step. If the value is higher than the pyro step, then you will get some awkward image result. Let's try another experiment in here, let's say. Okay, so show a few of this example first. So in here like this buy a drink example, I set like really high CFG, but then in this example, I set it low, but also a low sampling step. Then it doesn't show like much image detail and it's just some kind of outline of person. And then the nightclub is kind of blurry and all is surrounding outline of things. It doesn't produce any elements or like a detailed person in the image, which when we set it back to sampling step close to 20 or 30, you will see there's people, not only an outline of characters or any elements, but then the AI did fill in some information because the noise are fill in with more sampling steps and then you can produce something in the image. So you see this image. When I set up the pyro steps in Faraday, you will see the image. Every elements in this image are more dense compared with the previous one. It's just some outline styles and you don't have much detail or any clothings of a person or even no face of a person. But if you're going back to here, we set 30 or 20, it will doesn't look like this. This example is showing just a low sampling step example here. Also, we can see like this one, it is also a very low sampling step. That is clearly the wine bottle. It doesn't show much. It's just only a sketch of outline. And then you see when I turn it up to 30 sampling step, it will start drawing or start generating the bottles of wine and some whiskey on the bottles on the bar table. And then even there's more different styles of clothings for people. And like this guy at the front is wearing a hoodies. And then the other guy is wearing a shirt. You will see some different elements in here. So that is like the same concept. In stable diffusions, you set up higher sampling steps. You will get more stuff going on in the image. And then the steps for decoder. Once I turn it up to higher, 
and then you will see more clear with like these wine bottles it start become like a whiskey bottles on the bartender but although i turn it up higher i still haven't received a very clear image of a person face maybe that is the text prompt that i did it's not focusing in one characters but so far overall this is a very similar concept like what we did in stable diffusions the higher sampling step you will get more detail and obviously you lower your sampling step and then in stable cascade it's kind of different in stage c after it understand the text prompt and then in stage b for start to sketching doing the outline of the image and in this part if you're putting the lower step and it will just producing some outline of the image it doesn't keep making some the noise of elements in the image so that is the difference of stable cascade and stable diffusions although we have low sampling step in stable diffusions then we still able to get some solid image but is less detail but in stable cascade if we're using low sampling step or low pyro steps in here what they call and it will just showing the outline of elements in ai image and if i turn it up the cfg to so high and then other sampling steps also high as well and you will see there's nothing right it's not totally following the text prompt because the cfg is high obviously it doesn't follow much of my text prompt what i want and is hard to control if i set it too high in here so i think the sweet spot for cfg again is three to five this will be something that i will prefer using stable cascade so far that is what my experiment is and then you can turn it down to like cfg 1.5 or even one you will see there's well totally something that different styles i would say is not detail but different styles and it depends if you like this kind of dark atmosphere of styles and yeah you can use that that is up to you but so for that is what i got from testing this ai models and hope you guys get some ideas when you try it out and stable cascade and one more thing this is really funny that i did stable cascade for dummies book cover and it's actually generate in stable cascade here just using this one text prompt and it is kind of funny and you can actually understand what i mean and then create stable diffusions image like that so hope you guys like it and try it out stable cascade in automatic 1101 and i will see you guys in the next videos